flash and I just put a few little strands on it at, at the tail is to prevent the marabou from uh, going back down into the hook getting wrapped up in the hook so that we get that that perfect uh, little silhouette in the back so we tie in a few strands of uh, crystal flash in our marabou, our marabou tail. You can always clean up your crystal flash. Then you want to take marabou, you want to try and get uh, this fluffy marabou that, that gives you a lot of action in the water. Take a little clump. Because in the water, when this is wet, it's going to create a very narrow silhouette in the water. And you want to make it just a little bit longer than the shank of the hook. Hey, Jason. And that's why it's important to have that crystal flash in the back, just to keep it from tangling up in the, in the hook. Then we're going to tie in. This particular fly has a little shell back, and we want to tie in another clump of, uh, of marabou to, to create that little shell back. And tie it in by the, by the points. Tie in. We're going to tie in this hackle. It's uh, this is a uh, a whiting uh, uh, bugger pack, and uh, you pick a nice hackle. And this one you tie in by the tip as well because you want the uh, longer the longer barbules at the front of the fly. Now this is a nice, easy fly to tie. It doesn't take uh, a whole lot of time, but it's very, very productive. Then for the body, we're going to use the ice stub pheasant tail color. And you want to do it sparsely. These are, these are these are thin flies, they're not, they're not very bulky, so you want to create a slender body. <laughs> I'm all filled, I'll be selling popcorn in the aisles. <laughs> so, you can always add more, so I always start off with a very thin amount, just to be sure that I don't overdub. I can always add more if I need more. Now you can do a dubbing loop if you'd like, but that tends to make it just a little bit 
thicker or bulkier than, than, than I would prefer, but it just depends on your taste, on what you want to do. And you come all the way just about to, to the, you leave a little space here for your head. And then you take your hackle and you come around and you wrap. Now when you get to the front, at the, at the head of the fly, <clears throat> you want to give it a couple extra wraps right here at the front just to make it a little thicker at the front. Tie your hackle off. That's just why it's important to leave yourself a little bit of a head there because we don't want to crowd that eye. And then you take your Oh, one step I forgot is you make a little V here on top. That's so that your shell back can come straight over the top. So now you have your Stillwater Nymph. The originator again is Denny Rickards, who has had a lot of success with it. I have had great success with this fly. <laughs> Crawley. Where? Uh, Crawley? Crawley. Yeah. It's a very simple fly. It doesn't yeah. look like much. It's very unassuming, but I'm going to tell you that this fly it works. Works. And it's easy. It's an easy tie and very, very common materials that you can use. Now you can make them in all different colors. You can make them in a little bit, this is a size 10. You could make it in a size uh, eight or six, depending on what you're going for. But this size 10 here is what's worked for me quite a bit.